much talk of air pollution focuses on what's happening in cities and around them. Even in villages far away, where the known pollutants like vehicles, like the construction, like the big factories are not seen around, there is a source of pollution and it is coming out of homes like these. So in this episode, we focus on what's cooking inside, what it's doing to our atmosphere and even impacting climate change. Blending old world charm with new age technology. Hyderabad has something for everyone. Over the past decade, the city of Pearls has marketed itself aggressively as an IT city, attracting people from across the country and IT companies the world over. But some 50 kilometers away, a burning reality makes 21-year-old Sumalata choke and cry every morning and evening. Sumalata struggles with a daily ritual as she settles down on the floor in a tiny suit-covered kitchen to light the chula. Mm. What happens when you use it? Oh, the padu is banned out of it. Manta out of the madam. Oh, the padu is banned out of it. Guntla. Madam, I put a kaiti banned out of the madam. I put prasatan kaiti the ward to madam. Despite visits to the doctor and medication, the cough and chest pain recur. Sumalata's mother faced the same problem before her. The family of 10 depends on agriculture to make a living. The men till government land to grow chilies, cotton and rice. On their way home, they pick up wood from a forest. Sumalata stacks the sticks in the kitchen and uses them as firewood. The activity costs her her health, not to mention, it jeopardizes the safety of her whole family. Daily I encounter about 10% uh, of the population, like what are the senses we have at the OP, will be suffering from one or the other signs of respiratory infection. They'll start from a mild sign like just an uneasiness. In summers, actually, we'll encounter such an accident, mostly there because everything, the atmosphere will be dry. We are from a developing country. We can't uh, just uh, go that everybody will have a pakka house. So the thatched houses and all, they'll be getting fire. They'll be catching fire and a major accident will occur. We have you found a correlation to be, how much of the impact is really? It could have been very different, even the house which The family is part of a study of 29 villages in Telangana, focusing on chronic diseases and their causes within homes. The study is being conducted by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Mostly like for the last seven years we have been exclusively looking at uh, child development and uh, their problems leading to cardiovascular diseases. Now we have moved on to looking at the air pollution impacts on their health. Mm. So we are looking at the personal exposure. So what is the level of awareness among people here? People, I guess, in the rural villages, it's only like the 40% of the people might be having the LPG. And at least like 20% are aware of that they know that the LPG is available and could not uh, afford for that. And the other, there is 20% of the people like they don't even know that some facility kind of a better fuel uh, system is available for cooking.
using biomass as fuel impacts not just health. It's the single biggest source of air pollution in rural India. Biomass refers to any organic matter such as wood, agricultural waste or even animal dung. While it's cheap, it releases large quantities of smoke and particulate matter that impact both human health and the environment. According to the Government of India's 2011 census, an estimated 142 million rural homes, that's almost 85% of total rural households, depend on traditional biomass fuel for cooking. 45% of total rural households do not have electricity. They use wood and kerosene to light up homes. This makes India the largest consumer of firewood and biomass. Greenhouse gases emitted by such fuel along with other sources of pollutants add up to gigantic proportions, making India the third largest carbon emitter in the world after the United States and China. According to the World Health Organization, 4.3 million deaths occur globally from indoor air pollution each year. China accounts for nearly 1.5 million deaths and India close to 1.3 million deaths every year due to smoke from cooking, heating and lighting activities. There's a lot of attention on HIV AIDS, malaria, family planning and very little on this issue. Uh, in fact, globally, there are, the WHO estimates that there are over 4 million deaths annually attributable to household air pollution. So that's actually more than HIV and malaria combined. But LPG connections don't come easy in villages like Timapur. Few houses approved by the Panchayat Sarpanch have one. Others, like Sumalata's family, are still awaiting a connection. But in neighboring Rachalur village, a woman's sarpanch has made all the difference. Of the thousand homes here, 90% have an LPG connection. She approached the local MLA after she suffered health issues due to continued use of the chula. As per the 2011 census, LPG penetration in rural India is only around 13%. While 50% households in the country own televisions, only 28% in both rural and urban India have LPG access. But where there's availability, affordability plays a key role in rural India. Wood is often free and a gas cylinder comes at a price. Though Bala has had an LPG connection for 22 years now, she still prefers using the chula despite the fumes, the smoke and the heat. gas <laughs> वो जो हीटर चूल्हा जो दूसरा है जिसमें मतलब वो उसमें मतलब बर्तन काला भी नहीं होता उसको मतलब हेट भी नहीं लगती उसको ऐसे कपड़ा हाथ रखते हैं उस पर वो भी है हां सब कुछ है साधन तो लेकिन रोटी हमें इसकी अच्छी लगती है अच्छा इसमें मतलब सब्जी बनाएंगे हम उस पे हां चाय बनाएंगे हां और और भी कुछ मतलब घर में जैसे कि कोई गेस्ट आ जाए तो उसके लिए खाना वो कुछ भी मतलब जल्दी से बनाना है तो फिर हम गैस से बना लेंगे अच्छा और जो हम अपना धीरे से बनाएंगे ना अपने घर के लिए खाना तो हम अपने चूल्हे से बनाएंगे
It's this mindset that field workers like Krishna find hard to change, whether it's in Telangana or Haryana. Bala, who does not know how old she is, has little knowledge of what the smoke can do to her and her children's health, apart from the cough and burning of eyes, let alone the impact of the air she breathes. We saw in villages that many, many people are dying. We don't know the, what is the reason behind that. So first we thought that it's a lack of supplementation, lack of food, whatever. So we, we succeeded in that manner, even though the people are dying. Here the pollution is a major role in, in their life. So in these 28, 29 villages, the most of the people like uh, we see the ratios like in so some 30 to 70 to 30 ratio, the more, most of the people are uh, cooking on the wood, wood itself. Even though we, we are trying to don't, don't opt for this cook, uh, they are saying it is our traditional, so how can we change like that? We are, we are saying that it is a, uh, harmful for you, and they are saying that, oh, no, no, we are traditionally following the things. The doctor at a tiny private clinic near the village says 40% of the villagers come to him with respiratory problems. जब आपके पास आते हैं तो आप उन्हें क्या सलाह देते हैं कोशिश करते हैं कि धुएं को कम यूज करें कम से कम यूज करें और नाक पर जब काम करें तो रुमाल या किस मास्क टाइप का काम करें बच्चों में ज्यादा धुएं के पास ना ले जाएं जिसमें खाना बना रहे हैं जहां धुएं हैं उसे दूर रखें ये बच्चे को खिलाना है या बच्चे को फीडिंग करते हैं जो लेडीज तो खाना बंद करके तब जाकर फीडिंग करें ब्रीथिंग प्रॉब्लम्स असाइड स्टडीज आल्सो लिंक एयर पोल्यूशन टू स्टिल बर्थ्स a WHO report based on a study found that consistent exposure to solid fuel smoke can cause low birth weight and still births. The study concludes saying that although the body of evidence is still relatively small, the findings are consistent with studies on exposure to outdoor pollution.